How's it going guys? My name is Casey Van Eyhuis and right now I'm going to show you how to set up the menus in the Hyperion Duo Charger. Once we get everything plugged in, we'll go ahead and turn the power supply on. Now in this case, we're actually using a Progressive RC 12 volt, 500 watt power supply. This basically allows us to use the Hyperion Duo Charger without the hassle of the 12 volt car battery. Now we will also be charging a 6200 milliamp quadro power battery. And after we plug both the Dean and the balancer cable in, we'll go ahead and delve into the menus. Now, right now it's on memory number one. Now we're gonna go ahead and change that to a different memory number just because this is already set to a 3800 milliamp battery and what we want is a 6200 milliamp battery. So we'll hit enter, we'll hit up a couple of times, we'll get to a free memory number, we'll go ahead and use memory number 12, hit enter. Now what we're gonna do is just press the down button. Now this is where we're gonna change the battery type. Now since we're using LiPo batteries, we're gonna enter and we're gonna change that to LiPo. Now with that done, we'll hit enter, move down to battery volts. Now this we're gonna change to 14.8 volts, which is a 4S pack, hit enter. Now we're gonna move down to battery capacity, which we'll hit enter and move that all the way up to 6,200 milliamps. Now once that's at 6,200 milliamps, we're gonna change the last thing, which is the charge current. Now this is basically the rate at which the battery will charge. Now we're gonna bring that all the way up as high as it will go, which is for this battery, 12.4 amps, we'll hit enter. Now there's a lot of other things you can change, um, different shutoff temperatures, different safety timers, but uh, we're gonna go, and go ahead and leave those the same um, and go back up to the main screen. Now, once we're in the main screen, we're gonna hold enter down, and that's basically just gonna ask you if you wanna, you wanna start the charge, so we'll hit enter, sorry, hold enter again. It'll do a battery check. Now right here, it's basically just making sure that you have the correct number of cells chosen, which it is a four cell pack, and it's saying we've chosen four cells, so we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And we are up and charging, and that is all there is to it. Now, you can actually charge with this particular charger more than one battery at once. Now, to do that, you'll just hit the CH button, and you can see this little blinking light moves over to the right side where it says number two. Now that basically means that now anything you do is going to change the right side as opposed to the left. And you can set up another battery to charge individually all on its own. And that's really all there is to it.